Thanks for tuning in to S. Baker Media Group TV. I'm your host, Mecca Global. We got a special guest, an extra special guest in the building. Talk extra to the special. Extra special. Shooter! Talk to the people. Let them know. Yeah, that, that's how they know me, Mecca. They know me as that. When I see the little homies in the street, they be like, Shooter! <laughs> Let that's the people know where you're from for those sleeping Harlem, under a rock. Man. I'm from Harlem. I'm from Harlem. I'm from High City. That's what we call it. You know what I'm saying? I'm from the Foul Hunters. Where it go down that. Where we patched in that. You know what I'm saying? With a steady mob, it must stay consistent. Where there's a lot of maniac mobbing going on too. You know what I'm saying? That's where I'm from. New York. I'm always gonna sound like that too. New York nigga. Call them nigga anyway. What's up? Let them know how you got um first of all, for the people who don't understand the relationship between you, Jim Jones, Bird Gang, Dipset, or Hot City, everything, whatever, give them a breakdown. Our relationship is family, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? We ain't no, it ain't no artists over there that, in like a label, a, a, a label full of artists. Nah, we a fucking tree that's full of branches that's all connected to each other in one form or way or another. You know what I'm saying? So, everybody over there is family. That's what it is. We don't got friends, we got family. That's what it's about. Steady mob. Are you patched there or what? You know what Talk to him about that steady mob and that steady, steady mob. I hope y'all got steady mob in part one. I can tell the people who didn't get it because they still going through financial straits and, and, and situations. If you patched into that steady mob, you would have got the code. Because game is to be sold, not told. And it ain't cheap, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead and get you that steady mob in one. It's on that piff. You can go find that and get you a download. Download you something, man. Something that might benefit you for real. Get this sucker shit out of your life. What's that big record Slay playing right now? You, Mel Matrix, Hard Luck. Oh, that's man, still that's a still run, run Along. Run Along. Run Along, Run Along, Run Along. That shit's stupid. Shout out to my nigga. Shout out to my nigga Hard Luck. The whole Boss Mob movement, man. Snag. Shout out to my nigga Snags. That's my bro. For real, for real. Nigga, real niggas don't separate, man. You know what I'm saying? We may divide and, 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 and go through our shit, but that's what makes relationships real. You know what I'm saying? You ever, I'm going to tell y'all one thing, man, and this is free game. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving you free game. If you got a friend around you right now that you never have an argument with, you never had a disagreement with, you need to hurry up and get away from that motherfucker, man. Because guess what? One of y'all faking. And nobody gets along all the time. Somebody's hiding their true feelings. And I don't want nobody to hide their feelings with around me, man. I don't want them around my niggas, so... That's game for y'all, man. You want another big record with Wink Loke, that Brooklyn Nights remix? Shout out to Wink Loke. Shout out to the whole Brooklyn, man. My nigga Wink doing it. Look, you got to see me right here. You know what I'm saying? My nigga Wink is going hard. And I, I, I love him for that, man. I met Wink through Rod Diggs. That, Rod Diggs introduced me to the brother. He said, this is a good brother. You know, and, and from there, we you know, we just been building. We got a bunch of powerful music together that we're going to start releasing. We just ain't releasing yet. We got a bunch of videos to do done already. Shout out to Michelle, because Michelle shot a couple of videos for us. We just waiting for the Emmy releases. Award director. Emmy Award director. Let's not forget that. Emmy Award director. So, you know, we got strong, powerful people who are, who just like-minded and our bond, our glue that holds us all together is that we all trying to make it to that. You know what I'm saying? Also, talk about that mixtape. Your fans put together a mixtape with you dropping them songs on Twitter. That's crazy. Shout out to DJ Skinny Fast. That's the, I don't even know who he is, where he from, nothing. I just seen it on Dat Pip. My man called me, matter of fact. He said, yo, I got your new mixtape off Dat Pip today. That shit fire. I said, what new? I didn't put no... Somebody leaked Steady Marvin too? Fuck off. I go, look. All it was was I, during the summer, anybody who was following me, though, that I was releasing a song every day. So somebody took it upon themselves and co co composed all those songs together. Any features I might have done, anything I've done with Jim and anybody else from the gang, they put it all together and put it on that tape and gave it away to the fans. And I love them for it, you know what I'm saying? Because that means that my work is being heard and sought after. People are listening, so stay tuned in. Patch in, patch in, patch in. Another big video, um, United Front, you and A Mafia, Mike Chops. Shout out to A Mafia, shout out to Mike Chops, shout out to the whole Deep in the Game movement, man. You know what I'm saying? That's my niggas too. I don't fuck with everybody. But when I fuck with a nigga, I fuck with a nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's my niggas. And I ain't got to say no pause or no homo or none of that. Because I'm a real nigga, man. I could, I could sideline all that. So, OG call. Push that to the side. Yeah. But, you know, shout out to A Mafia and Mike Chops. Mike Chops make the best videos, man. He make the best. I mean, like, for what he do, he makes the best videos, man. That's the only videographer that I really work with other, other than Gutter Life DVDs, my nigga d -Lo, my nigga a -Rab. Other than that... You know, it's straight Mike Chop Productions. But I shout out to Prada Boy. We just shot a movie with him. Um, Reek the Villain. 
my nigga Drama, A-Rab, Gato, everybody that's around me, we was all, we put a movie together, it's called um, Split Decisions, that should be coming out within a couple months, you probably can catch the trail on um, Worldstar any day now, cause we just going through the final editing and all that right now, so we just want to shout out to my boy Fox, man, Nah Trey's finest, man, we lost him early, um, late last year, end of the month before um, New Year's came and shit, unfortunate event, but we here, G's, he right here with me, he probably sitting right here, like, yo, look at my boy, man, he working, you know what I'm saying? So, as long as I stay like this, I stay motivated, I stay focused, I keep good people around me who believe in the progress and the growth of the steady mobbing, high city bird gang, gutter life movement, and you know, and that's where I'm at, I'm in a good space, you know what I'm saying? So, as long as I keep it like that, I'm good, I keep the suckers away from me, I'm good, because, you know, when you start diluting shit, and you know, it makes it weak, it's tainted, the chain is weaker, it's easy, and you know, I just, I'd rather keep it with my niggas, you know what I'm saying? You shout on out the A-Mafia. You on, shout out to A-Mafia. You on a lot of big records, Wink, Log, Rod Diggs, you on uh, that Brooklyn remix. Um, oh, how yeah. did that come about? Yo, you know what's Brooklyn crazy? Nights. because, the, it's, I, look, out from Harlem, you hear the Brooklyn Night room, my nigga Wink, Log, Wink. you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Wink, <laughs> man, you know what I'm saying? But, it's funny, I, I'm from Harlem, but you know, Wink saw fit to put me on that record, like, yo, G, you a G, you know what I'm saying? Plus, I be out in Brooklyn all the time. So it ain't no thing, you know what I'm saying? Across the bridge, go across that Jackie Robinson and figure it out. You know what I'm saying? So Rod Diggs on you. Yeah. Oh, shout shout out to Rod Diggs. Free that man. Be you know, Rod Diggs is going through an unfortunate situation that the government always try to do the black men in the motherfucking situation where they go about to make something happen for himself. You know what I'm saying? My boy was out here working on music. You know what I mean? They want to come and snatch a nigga up because they see the industry starting to take a liking to a nigga. Shit starting to happen. Certain steps start happening. They want to stifle your growth before you can really get strong and get the way you need to be. So just know I want everybody who got any like love and uh, any type of like for my man, for my brother in their heart to, you know, just stay, keep them in his prayers. Keep them in your prayers and hopefully we get around this situation and get back to the basics, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Uncle Murray, he's been a very supportive role and a person in that in, in that whole movement, you know what I'm saying? So shout, shout out, out to, to him too. Yeah, shout team. out to Murder. Also, um, I definitely want to talk about that uh, performance coming up at Club Pyramid. Shout and out to Slay for even putting that together. Slay is the realest fucking DJ I know and just a real person in general, man. Just a real person in general. You can see Slay don't do shit out of a need to uh, have a motherfucker around. Slay do it from his heart. Slay don't do it because he can think it, he gonna make a gain off you or anything like that. He's just doing it for the love of the game. Like, yo, these niggas is from the same place I'm in and they pushing, you know what I'm saying? So anybody, I, I say to anybody who thinks Slay don't support you, then you just gotta push harder because if he see you pushing, he gonna support you wholeheartedly. So. Mm -hmm. What you got to say to these artists out here that's sleeping, who ain't working, and who think the game just going to be handed to them just like that overnight? I'll see you at the drive through sucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's where you're going to end up at. At the drive through you keep bullshit because fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I look at it like this. If person say they want to do music and they bullshitting with music, and music is something that's free and easy for you to do, if you bullshitting with that, what you going to do is something that you got to really work at. Then you gonna sleep slipping in music, you slipping in your whole life nine times out of ten. You look at anybody who's just sitting around complaining about what's not going right and why every why they're failing, yo, I'm failing because we not winning because of this, the DJs, we not winning because of the we not winning because of Drake. <laughs> yo, Drake is yo, I, we not winning for because of Rick Ross. Nigga, you not winning because you not working. Like you got to look at the situation. The niggas that's on top have more records out than you. They have more. If they have, you keep hearing saying, damn, yo, this thing always got a new song. You should have five new songs for every song they got. You know what I'm saying? Because you want they slot. This is a competitive thing. When I'm in the studio, that's what I'm thinking. I'm not really got, I don't have nobody in my mind, but I'm saying to myself, this is a competitive thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The more material, quality material, not just putting anything out. I'm just saying quality shit. Because with me, I put everything I do, I put my whole into it. So even my videos, like I don't just, I rarely, barely, rarely do a run through video, meaning just have a video of random footage and throwing it together. My shit is always a movie plot. I got to Shout out to Mike Chops. Shout out man. to Gato. Shout out to Gato. Shout out to my homie Gato. My Romano. <laughs> My Amano. Me Amano. Me Amano. That's my nigga, man. That's, <laughs> listen, Gato, a lot of people don't know, man. Gato been with me from day one. 
from behind the wall. Like if you listen to the, if you go to listen to the I Was There song. In fact, you can see a picture of Gato when he was actually a slim nigga. <laughs> when we was with that red eyed D. You know what I'm saying? All my niggas is predicates, man. Red eyed D carriers and all that. You know what I'm saying? You know, if niggas been patched into that motherfucker situation behind the wall, you know that you know what it is. We gotta say the Red ID gang. You know what I mean? So, shout out to Gato for being a real nigga, loyal nigga, man. Never been a switch side. I've never been a, a snake. I never had to look over my shoulder about my brother or anybody that I keep around me for that matter because that's why they're around me. You know what I'm saying? They here because it's love. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They're not here because I have anything else to offer you besides love, loyalty, and respect. Really be patched in. If you're not patched in, then you know, you probably gonna be at home or on Twitter talking about where you're not at. You know what I'm saying? They need that Steady Marvin shooter too. That, I, I got Steady, listen, I swear to you, when y'all hear Steady Marvin too, I swear to everything I love, y'all gonna be like, yo, this nigga is on his A game. And like I said, I'm not no punchline rapper, I'm just a life rapper, man. I like, I, and I feel that there's a thousand people that's in the same shoes I'm in. You know, I'm not rich and I'm not broke. I'm in what you call purgatory, or financial purgatory. You know what I'm saying? I got a little too much to be homeless and a little too less to be rich. You know what I'm saying? In so between. I'm in between. And it's not a good spot. I'd rather be either or. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm trying to make it here and do something for my niggas. Because I'm at a spot where I could be comfortable for me, but I'm not comfortable for my niggas. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? For my family. I got to get my niggas into the same type of situation that I'm in. Like... I need my niggas to wake up and say, yo, damn, man, I ain't got to do nothing but smoke some weed, Jay. Anything, you, know <laughs> anything you want to clear up, anything, any misconceptions, any rumors, nah, any beefs, anything, anything like we, that? Bro gang don't have no beef with nobody. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? We, we ain't about that. You know what I mean? Our life is, like I said, we some real niggas, man. We ain't beefing on record, so I hope nobody takes anything we saying as no indirects. Because when it's a di when it's when your name, when, when it's on, nigga, your name is going to be said. Not by me, by Channel News. One of them news networks. You know what I'm saying? They gonna be speaking about you that way. Stop shooting. For real, man. I ain't playing. This you give them a run. How did you meet Rod Diggs? Me and Rod Diggs grew up together in unfortunate situations. We know um, Rod Diggs is from Brooklyn. I'm from Harlem. So, of course, we didn't know each other before going to jail. You know what I'm saying? Juvenile jails and all that type of shit. All the way up into the state pen. And I ain't saying that there's no bragging right, but I'm just saying that, that it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Niggas was really outside and really in the streets and really doing real shit. So we patched in. You know what I mean? It's a bigger picture now. We just like trying to <clears throat> trying to make it work. My nigga is going through a situation right now. And that situation, it probably it weakened me, but it strengthened me. Because my nigga always talked to me. He always called me and tell me, yo, Joe Shooter, just keep doing your thing, my nigga. Like, producers, people, shout out to producers. Shout out to all the producers that How they can get in touch with you. Y'all can get in touch with me at SteadyMarvin9Trey at Gmail. You send any track there. If it's fire, you're going to get that shit back with me. Ask the producers who fuck with me, man. If I like your beat, I like the music, I do that shit right then and there, man. Because I'm a nigga who know how to work Pro Tools and all that shit. I can't hopefully care and taught myself how to work the computer. Computer. I know how to record myself. I know how to mix myself if I need to. You know what I'm saying? I know how to get the job done. So if you send me the right type of production, that track getting done right there. I'm going to show you what this Steady Marvin shit is about. Yeah, shout out to Rel too. Rel, you know, Rel is a singing motherfucker, man. And shout out to Hell Rel and JR Ryder, of course. All those, all my niggas, man. You know, my whole niggas. What you say? Yeah, you Patch me in at Shooter93. 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 That's at YouTube. At Twitter is Bird Gang Shooter. On MySpace, Shooter93. Reverb Nation or whatever Spell else you want. Spell Everything it else is Shooter93. S-H-O-O-T-A-9-3. The numbers. Like that. Anybody you know else you want to shout and out? Who been holding you down? Let me tell you something. <laughs> Let me tell you something. We going to fight. Let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something, man. One thing for sure, two things for certain. When the ground shake, I know who's shaking it, man. I know what's going on. I know, I know who's patched there, you know what I'm saying? So, shout out to Mecca Global, SBMG Media Group, man. Patch the fuck in. She grinding harder than a whole bunch of you bitch, weak ass niggas out here, you spineless suckers. <laughs> hot City Shooter, Steady Marvin. Y'all can patch in on HotCityRap.com. Y'all can patch in on YouTube at Shooter Nontre. And y'all can patch in on Twitter at Bird Gang Shooter. Don't get it fucked up. Shout out to my nigga A-Rab. He in the building. Shout out to the whole Wagner Project. Shout out to the whole Hunt 12 Street 7 Fab. I'm a Harlem nigga anyway. Do not get it fucked up. <clears throat> get it.